Mike, thank you very much for meeting with us. Um, just a question in terms of ASU 2013. How have, how have things gone uh, in terms of the business this year? I think generally speaking, the business has gone reasonably well. Obviously, uh, the steel industry is under a little bit of pressure, and that's uh, put us under a little bit of pressure in terms of volume. You know, we've got sufficient plants and flexibility, though, to manage uh, and demand follow, in a sense, just to uh, make sure that we run efficiently. Um, and then, so overall, the, uh, the volumes have been fairly uh, flat, but uh, you know, who knows what's happening next year. Things are looking a lot more positive. Um, and hopefully, uh, you know, the economy continues to grow and uh, the volumes increase. And obviously, looking forward to 2014, you have the ASU project. How, how are we looking there? How, how are things standing? Where, where are we standing at Elon, the moment? you're obviously referring to the, uh, the project down in Port Elizabeth. Um, yes. That project is progressing very well. We commenced with it a little while ago. I think in July, we commenced with the, uh, the bulk earthworks and civils. Uh, we anticipate to have all that completed before the December break. So we'll be ready to accept all the major equipment early in the new year. And by around March, uh, all the equipment will be on site. So the project is on track. We still anticipate to be on, on stream early quarter four, 2014. So very exciting and we're looking forward to it. And you say the significance. Explain the significance mm -hmm. of this project from, from Air Product and for the, and for the area. Well, this is, this is the first plant of its kind that's going to be located in that particular area. And as you know, we're building this in the Kucha IDZ. Uh, up until now, uh, all the gases are trucked in from hundreds of kilometers away. And that uh, creates a lot of insecurity in terms of supply. And customers have complained uh, recently and over some time that uh, they've had some inefficiencies in their system as a result of not having the gas available. So now the gas is going to be available you know, next year, and uh, that's going to have a huge impact on their existing customers just to make sure that they can continue to grow and develop. And, and as they build capacity, they're going to have the gas available to support them to continue to grow. In addition to that, it obviously attracts other industries into the region who are gas users. Um, so it works right throughout the supply chain. So it facilitates and enables business to grow and develop throughout the supply chain. So as I mentioned, very exciting, and as you know, Cook is getting quite a bit of traction, a lot of investment going in there at the moment, so um, we're well positioned to supply and help grow the industry.